how to start learning real analysis what is the very first book that you should pick up should you read any book before learning real analysis what is the level of mathematics that you should know well in this video i'm going to answer all these question and tell you how to start learning real analysis and what is the very first book that you should pick up I'm also going to explain about the mathematics, the prerequisites that are required and what are the valuable resources that you should learn before you start learning reanalysis. My name is Shonak and you're watching this video on my channel Physics for Student. Welcome to this series on freshman course in real analysis. Now before I go ahead and explain all those details I would like to tell you that I have made previously few videos on real analysis but those are basically on the methods of learning overall approach uh, prerequisites that are required and some of the axioms and few chapters of real analysis this is the first video which I am making on the book and I will be focusing mostly on the book and what are the resources that you need to learn so that your journey in real analysis is easy and you do not feel bored or difficult in learning this subject okay so before we go ahead with this first i would like to give you a brief introduction for a few minutes well as you know real analysis is basically an area of analysis uh, i mean to say analysis are of two types real on the real plane and complex on the complex plane which studies concepts such as sequences and their limits continuity differentiation integration and so on now if you look into the definition automatically what keeps in your mind is that these words which you already know limits continuity derivatives and rate of change all these things you have already dealt in calculus so does that mean that you will be learning calculus again the answer is no what you will be learning in real analysis is an in-depth understanding of what exactly limits continuity derivatives mean where from these concepts evolved and how we can find out the theorems which we read in calculus what are those theorems evolve into how we can prove those theorems and what is the origin of theorems so be prepared for a very exciting journey because real analysis actually gives you the flavor of the birth of calculus and various other subjects which you just have plugged and played in your mathematics early days but now you are going to learn how they evolved and you can even prove those theorems so i would say it is basically a linear development of mathematical ideas you have come across throughout your journey in mathematics i mean to say whatever you have got through it whatever the journey whatever the theorems whatever the ideas that you have got now it is the time to, to really look into it where they come from and do a little bit in details so let us remember this is a rigor of proof based mathematical system that means it would be more dig rigorous and definite we do not have any unproven assumption say for example let something equal to something no we have to prove that what we are uh, you know uh, assuming it is defining real numbers axiomatically we will soon see what do we mean by real axioms real number axiomatically that means we need to prove each and every state and remember that it is going to be theoretically rigorous and a logic based mathematical system now before i go ahead in i'm uh, making you understand about the book there are few important things which i need to tell that is called what are the mathematical prerequisites without learning those things it is impossible to learn real analysis so let us look what is the mathematics that you need to know coming up in this part of the video okay so the first thing would be definitely and definitely calculus because real analysis depends upon the concepts and techniques of calculus so thorough understanding of calculus its key topics limit continuity integrals is very much required next comes set theory yes uh, you will see that a lot of set theories are used in real analysis so you need to familiarize yourself with basic set operation like union intersection complement uh, set notation and the concept of uh, sets and subsets 
Next comes very importantly, what is a mathematical proof because real analysis is a proof based mathematical system. So you need to understand what are the mathematical proof techniques which are necessary and you should be comfortable with proof methods such as direct proofs. Uh, proved by contradiction proof and various other you can look into my just previous video of this i have given all the proof systems that are required real numbers because real analysis deals with uh, properties and analysis of real number we you should be able to understand the grasp of properties of real numbers including their algebraic properties such as associated commutativity and distributive laws Sequence and series is very important because we need to understand the behavior of sequence and series. Otherwise, topics like convergence, divergence, limits and sequences won't be clear to you. Functions and continuity. Yes, uh, this subject explores the properties of functions and continuity. So domain, codomain, range, graph, functions, continuity, differentiability, all these are required. And also what we need is metric spaces because this would be a very general framework of analyzing mathematical objects. So you need to understand metric spaces and their properties, for example, distance functions, open and closed sets, etc. And lastly, obviously, differential differentiation integration, which calculus has already covered. Okay, now after this, what I would like to sh tell you is that out of this, if you can go back to this, you see I have underlined, made mathematical proof red. Why? I will just show you. I, this will be clear in the next part of the video. What I want is that before we start reading calculus, please be clear on these three concepts, order, relations and functions. Now, when I talk of order and relations, I am trying to tell you that order of real numbers are required because we will need to compare and arrange them in a meaningful way. Right. So the order of real number is uh, something which is very efficient, essential for, I would say, defining concepts, convergence and limits, because the order relation is used to define the concept of convergence in reanalysis. Now we would be looking into uh, further details of convergence and uh, divergence. So uh, be sure that the order relations actually, which helps us to express this convergence, uh, should be absolutely clear in your mind. Next come functions, because this is also important. Uh, functions helps us modeling relationships, describing relationships, etc. So you need to know analyzing behavior and properties and rigorous reasoning and proofs, because without that, you won't, we won't be able to move. Now, these are the things which I would suggest have a complete grasp before going to that. And I am going to suggest you a handout, not a typical book. And I'm also going to tell you how you can see how you can get this uh, handout so i would request before going into reanalysis please do have a complete understanding of order relations and functions what is the handbook coming up in the next part of our video so you see this is basically i have gathered from internet it talks about relations binary relations and gives example here you can see these are nice examples using flags to determine the relation then comes the terminology what is function domain and codomain and you can see how this function domain and codomain has been nicely illustrated using colorful photographs illustrations etc so this is a nice handout which i think would be very useful to you further you can see that using dinosaur how they have mentioned the relations and then you know functions composition what is cardinality infinite cardinality and then you see the on to one to one function composite cardinalities etc so I would request that before jumping into real analysis, please have an idea of those functions, uh, relations, etc. The next thing is that also which is important is how to write proofs. Because if you're not comfortable and you do not know how to write proofs, this would be difficult. Here is a quick handout of Eugenia Cheng and the Department of Mathematics University of Chicago. And it actually is a kind of a quick handout which shows what sort of things we are trying to prove. It gives an idea. What does a proof like as you can see on the right hand side, beginning, middle and end, how would it be? Then the general shape of a proof is given so i would i would request if you are not even going through much details but writing proofs is important and get hold of the writing proofs this handout is definitely going to help you 
Now we come to the central part of our video that is what is the first book in real analysis. Some people say Rudin, I won't be speaking of Rudin, but rather this book. Basic Elements of Real Analysis by Murray H. Proter and this has got a review of 63% overall. This is Professor Murray H. Proter, a, a brief idea about him. He's an American mathematician uh, educator and is basically known for his contribution in partial differential equations and is well uh, this uh, mostly known for calculus because you understand and that is from where he wrote this book of elements of real analysis okay let us look into what are the content of the book so you see it actually starts with the real number system that is a beauty it will basically teach you axioms inequalities mathematical induction then it goes into continuity and limits obviously required then it will go into basic properties of functions like bolzano weierstrass theorem uniformity etc it's a very step-by-step -step approach then it will take into elementary theory of differentiation elementary theory of integration elementary theory of metric spaces differentiation in finite series then it will go into de derivative of an integral and vector functions or rn so professor Proter's book is quite comprehensive detail and now let us look into the next part of the video where we will be talking about the content part so you see that it starts basically with axioms for a field because this is central and it will first lay out the axioms of addition, commutative associative law. You might skip this one, but this is also very important. So it starts right from the beginning. Next, what a professor does is that he deals with natural numbers and sequence. What are the inequalities, right? Axiom one and what is mathematical induction. Different methods of induction are also laid out. Then Professor Proter looks into what is called limit and continuity, very important and defining then what is the limit and the continuity in finite limits, etc. Further to this, Professor Proter explains what are the basic properties of functions on Rn, then the chapter 4, elementary theory of differentiation, then comes the elementary theory of integration. Remember, these are elementary theory means further details of integration and differentiation will be dealt. And then the chapter 6 will be elementary theory, differentiation in finite series. I'm going to say it's quite long. I have not given the entire, all those chapters. I have already shown it in the uh, uh, content part. And then the derivative integral and it further goes on. So if I make an overall feedback of this book, how will I talk about the overall feedback? So if first of all, the most important is that it assumes that you know nothing and starts dealing you right from the basic. If the language is very simple, it is clear, lucid and everybody can understand. It contains many examples and proofs and there are further exercises which you can do and it starts from the very basic knowledge and then builds up the skills. It, I'm sorry for the spelling mistake, it would be skills, right. And uh, how will you get this hand material and books you can write to me at contact for physics for students or you can whatsapp me i would like to share this it in google drive because the size is heavy so that actually brings us to the end of today's video this is the book in which you can start reading and before that please please make sure that you know functions relationship and most importantly how to write proofs Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm extremely glad because you have been watching these videos and uh, thanks for all your support. Please subscribe to my channel Physics for Students. Click on the bell icon to get all the notification from Physics for Students. You can write to me in this contact ID. I also have a channel exclusive to general relativity and further you can follow me on my Instagram, Facebook and LinkedIn pages. I hope I have been able to give you the first step towards learning real analysis. Any comment or welcome any suggestions please put it and do keep tuned for with physics for students because i will be coming up with more interesting videos very soon till then goodbye